Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3 installation video. So, most of you who played Senua Hellblade Saga 2 or Senua Saga Hellblade 2 uh, have faced the issue that uh, after the second update, uh, which is the game version uh, 162837, after this update, the game is uh, not. Uh, showing you the frame generation option like when you go to the setting and then graphics option uh, even if you have installed the mod uh, you cannot see the frame generation here so yeah this is the same case also for me you have tried maybe uniscale or some do capture mods and others but uh, you have failed so yeah today we're going to be show you how to install the fsr 3 mod on this update also you can notice the frame time is little bit uh, unstable so yeah i'm also going to show you how to fix that along with some edge bleeding which were happening with the frame generation at uh, this corner and maybe this corner for some users so yeah let's begin without any delay okay so we're gonna be installing the episode 3 mod with uh, the latest dlss enabler 2.90801 uh, this version has been updated with many more change log uh, which you can see on your screen right now so yeah we're going to run this then we need to click next next now we're gonna go to the installation folder of hellblade 2 which is here now then we're gonna go to hellblade 2 binaries win64 where the hellblade shipping 2.ex is located we're gonna select this path by clicking on the file browser or this uh, path browser then we're gonna right click and copy then we're gonna select the whole path delete it from keyboard and paste this path we just copied from here now we're gonna click on next uh, now here is a little tricky part for the new users but all users already know uh, how to do this so you may skip 10 to 20 seconds ahead uh, if you are an amd user you will need to tick this uh, amd slash intel gpu and if you are failing with this dll option there are currently three other options so if you are an amd user i do recommend you to install uh, winm dll version but if you are an nvidia user gtx rts doesn't matter you can just use this version but if it failed you will also try this version too uh, along with that you have also two other versions to test so yeah do try and see which one works for you uh, this one worked for me uh, perfectly smooth so yeah after that we're gonna click on next but i'm unticking the amd and intel gpu because i already have an rtx gpu so i'm gonna click next install and the dlss enabler will get installed uh, now i have some few things to show you uh, in game by which you can fix the rgb edge bleeding edge bleeding and uh, along with that some uh, frame time fixing so yeah let's dive into the game now the new list of prices for offline activated and rental games as you can see on your screen right now feel free to pause the video at any time and select your games then come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel or just dm me all right uh, we are back inside the game and as you guys can already see the fps is now around 80 to 90 territory so one more thing uh, if i go to the setting uh, you can see here uh, frame generation is already enabled now if you press the insert key on your keyboard you will bring up this kind of uh, ui which is the dlss enabler ui so in here you can see the selected uh, upscaler is now dlss now if you switch back to the fsr uh, like uh, you have installed it through some kind of uh, uniscalar or some other mod you will see this kind of edge bleeding like right here you can see uh, there uh, also it will happen maybe also this side for some users so yeah to fix that you just need to switch back to the dlss by pressing the insert key opening this ui and selecting the dlss you can also use the xcss i think uh, let me test it i have not tested it so yeah on dlss you can see the rgb bleeding is not happening let me test the xcss also all right i think xcss is bugged somehow the frame rate is very lower like 20 to 24 fps okay we're not gonna use the xcss let me just stick to the dlss for now 
okay now this issue has been fixed now we are going to talk about the frame time latency or the input latency uh, issue as you can see it's very unstable right now so what you can do is first notice the average fps of your game like for me it's around 80 85 90 so yeah we have noticed the average fps around this area now we are going to go to the ms afterburner slash river tuner uh, now we're gonna click on the add button and we're going to select this uh, hellblade 2 shortcut which is located in the same folder where we just uh, pasted the mod uh, sorry installed the mod uh, here so we're going to select this and we're going to select a custom frame rate like for suppose my average fps was around 85 to 90 so i'm going to set it to like 84 80, yeah, 84 and then hit enter uh, now uh, you want to check again what is your fps limiter short key in your msi afterburner like if you go here then if you go to the where is it user interface uh, video capture benchmark on a screen display you can see here uh, the toggle frame rate limiter is insert key for me i know it's also the same for the uh, dlss enabler ui but yeah uh, so it is the insert key for me so if i go back to the game and now if i hit uh, insert key wait it will open up uh, so if i hit the insert key you can see my fps is now limited to 84 but you can see the frame time is very smooth like it is uh, facing no interference uh, and it is very smooth i think you can notice in the video too so this is the frame time fixing issue so this will be it for this video i uh, hope this helps you if it helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, if you don't uh, uh, able to perform this mod you can comment down below also don't forget to tell me about the new msi afterburner slash river tuner ui uh, how you feel about it like if you don't feel good i need to convert back then you can comment it and if you feel it's good or need some other uh, suggestions or other customizations you can also suggest me that in the comment section so yeah until then cheers also spider-man 2 version 1.5.1 will be available on the channel soon the gameplay only nothing else so yeah stick around for that and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers